hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how to set up basic mqtt broker in node mcu using smqtt broker library so that was very basic mqtt broker implementation in the node mcu without any security or you can say without any username and password okay so any client okay any mqtt client can directly connect with that mqtt broker without any security but we want a security in our broker without any username and password no client should able to connect with our mqtt broker then how we can implement it okay so that thing we are going to cover in this video so this is the topic for this video that how to set up secure mqtt broker in the node mcu using smqtt broker library with username and password authentication so until and unless you are not providing correct username and password you won't be able to connect with the node mcu mqtt broker so let's see how you can implement it so here i have my entire code okay so here is our secure esp8266 mbtt broker code i'm going to provide it okay after this video so you can directly use it now here is our entire code so you have to change few things as per your requirement in this code so first thing is your mqtt connection username and password so whenever you try to connect with your node mcu mqtt broker what username and password you want to set that you have to specify here so i have set my mqtt client username admin and mqtt client password password okay just for the demonstration purpose and then after you have to change another thing which is your wi-fi ssid and password so on which wi-fi connection you are going to connect your ESP8266 or node MCU board that you have to specify here and the one more thing you have to specify as per your requirement is the MQTT port so on which TCP port you want to start your MQTT broker so that you have to specify here so totally you have to modify five things as per your requirement first two things are MQTT connection username and password okay third and fourth is your wi-fi ssid and password and the fifth is mqtt broker port number so once you modify everything as per your requirement then you can directly upload this code into your node mcu board so here is my node mcu board connected with my system i'm going to upload this sketch into my node mcu board okay okay we have successfully uploaded the code and here we have the ip address of our node mcu board now we can use this ip address to connect with our node mcu mqtt broker so again i am going to open mqtt explorer which is mqtt client software and i am going to select the esp8266 connection and i'll try to connect okay here you can see connection refused because of bad username or password now we have already specified the username and password here to connect with our mqtt broker so without any username and password you won't be able to connect with our mqtt broker so that is what we want right so i'm going to copy the username from here and i'm going to paste it here and we will copy the password and we will paste it here and then after we will try to connect and we are successfully connected okay so if you do not provide any username or password then you won't be able to connect with our node mcu mqtt broker and if you provide wrong username and password okay uh, in this scenario username is correct but password is wrong so still you are not able to connect you can see bad username and password okay and if you provide correct username and password then only you will be able to connect with node mcu mqtt broker now again i am going to open another mqtt client which is again mqtt explorer i will select the node mcu connection okay the password is password and the username is admin and then we will try to connect okay here you can see connection refuse identifier rejected because uh let me show you so if you go to the advanced here also if you go to the advanced then the client id for this two client is same okay so you have to change the client id then only the second client will be able to connect with your esp8266 mbtt broker so i'm going to add some random number here okay and then we will go back and then we will try to connect and we are connected so if your client ids are same then you won't be able to connect with your node mcu mqtt broker okay so that thing also you have to take care of now we can use some test topic and we can publish some test data okay and in the second client we have received that 
also we can publish some test data from the second client and here we have okay so it is working absolutely fine with security so i hope this thing is clear that how you can set up your secure mqtt broker in the node mcu so here is the code i will provide the code okay uh, maybe you will get that into our github repository or i'll provide the code into our website so you can directly copy from our website so i hope everything is clear that how you can set up your secure mqtt broker in the node mcu and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere okay all the social media link is available on our website also you can send me a mail also you can comment on this video now let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you